What up, YouTube, man? I had like a crazy, a crazy day yesterday. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I went and got my hair cut with my son, and like after that, I had dropped my phone on my quad. My phone had like broke from my uh from my lock button getting like smashed. So damn, this fucking son is irritating. So I had my boy uh built by Ray. I had my boy help me fix my phone. We really fixed it. Like he popped up on the whole screen, showed me the little button to push out that was pushed in and we fixed it. I got it working, I'm recording now, but it messed up my whole Thanksgiving. I didn't get any footage. Like I didn't get to get anything, nothing. But at least I got my phone fixed. So we get to get in, get to work in today. So stay tuned for that. We about to get that going and see what today brings. Try to make some stuff happen, you know, make something out of nothing. So I just have to go to the house. Go, uh, go back and switch. Man, my boy cut my hair cool. I gotta get his business card for uh, my, my brothers out here in LA who want a nice cut, man. He got my son right. Only reason I say that is because I just had an incident with the last guy who did some very weird stuff and was aggressive with my son. I'm like, bro, that's not happening with me. Like, I don't care who you are, what you do for a living, that's not cool with me. So I took my business somewhere else where I know my money is good. I just want a good, nice quality cut, you know? But yeah, um, we're about to go slide on my boy Ray. And uh, I told my boss, I'm hoping they get some little labor in, whatever he was trying to do. Cause the stuff this dude did yesterday helped me on my phone, man, y'all don't even know. Like, I literally just went through two phones and that's when I was going through, like, when I first started my YouTube, I was going through hell. If y'all watched my Trailblazer videos, it was a large gap in the Harley. It was a big, large gap of time before I uploaded, like, I kept losing phones. I don't know why, man. I done went through like two phones, I feel like in the past two months. And this would have been my third one. Like, so I'm like, man, I gotta try to fix this. But he helped me fix it, cracked open the whole phone. My lock button was stuck closed from the phone falling off my lap on my quad. So we opened the phone, pushed the button out and everything worked smooth. So that was perfect. So we're about to get some work in today, man. It's Friday, Black Friday. I don't like that because People don't know that Black Friday stuff come from selling slaves, and that's not cool with me. <laughs> I like shopping and shit, but the history behind it is sickening, for real. Just put up to my boy house. I'm about to get some work in, man. This thing looking good. I'm about to make it happen, though. As y'all can see from the picture, we got the uh, we got the seats out, the back row. We're getting it there little by little. That's the pal. Dang, that's crazy. It's 11.19. And I said by 11.30. Waiting out 10 minutes early. See it. Got this thing out. About to um, get this going. Clean this up. this thing coming man I see how it was just about 45 minutes ago now imagine in 45 days brand new PM floorboards gonna grab some these off $40 to enter got the back floorboards brand new not open got the front brand new in the pack Contrast cut, PM floorboards. They ready to go back in the box to the winner. Stay tuned for more details. $40 to enter, $40 to enter. The winner will take these first place. The winner will take front and back floorboards. 
Second place will get $150 cash. Third place will be $100 cash. We about to um about to head to the shop while I can for like I think like three or four hours. So we're about to do that to try to get some work in while we can. Try to get some gas first though. Diesel been running me low. This thing juiced up. Back at the shop for a minute. About to um get some work in for sure. Got too much stuff to get done. About to knock this stuff out. About to dump this big ass box clean up, but about to get it done. So I don't know if you guys remember, but the first spot I had my shop at, the, uh, the owner had a, a large, a large rack that I, I needed. They stack to use too. So I'm going over here to grab it right now to try to drag it to mine. So let's stay tuned for that. So this is it. I need this. This was literally the size of my first little spot I had. And it was cool, but this is what I needed. And I'm about to try to take this thing out of here. <sighs> I need this. It just took me like a cool, sweating hot right now. It took me like a cool 10, 15 minutes to bust this thing down. I'm about to go take this over there and put this together. I'm about to go take this over there to my shop and load these parts up. It's hot. But it had been so much time, I haven't been up here to get nothing done, so we gotta get as much done and as much as possible in a little time I do have. So, stay tuned, let's get it going. I had just walked the two pieces of wood with my roller over here. Shout out to the owner, he just blessed me. Let me use the roller, so save me some time. Try to get this thing going. I'm back up in this joint, got all the pieces. I'm about to um, throw this thing together, put this up. Eliminate all these parts on the floor. That will have no fresh painted parts getting messed up. No powder coated parts getting messed up. So let's do this. I am tired. <laughs> like, man, I gotta get it done though, you know? There's so much shit I need to get done today, it's crazy. But this shelf just really helped me out in so many ways. You guys already see the shit I got on the floor. This is eliminating that. And if y'all see that thing right here on the side of my phone, that's the case. People be saying, like, oh, can you move your hand? That's my case, and that's how I keep dropping my phone trying to record so this won't happen. So I'm sorry, I gotta deal with it for a minute. But yeah, this is uh, this is the shelf right here, man. We about, to, we about to fully fill this thing up right here and get all this stuff cleaned up and get it right. This thing is A1 though, man. So after another long, I say 30 minutes, man, for real. I just moved almost everything around in this joint. So much better. I got enough space for all the bikes, so this is much better. Like, too. finally got this thing filled up. We got all the paint for this bike on here. We're not throwing everything on here because there's still a couple of things we powder coated on here. So I don't want to put stuff on here with Loctite just to loosen it back. So I want to do everything I want. So we got this thing on the road moving. Above, we got my bike for my stuff. So that's all chilling. Then everything on there is for this road glide. We're about to continue getting this thing going. Got all the parts powder coated. For sure going by his house today or later tonight whenever he get back around so I can grab all his parts and bolt that bike up. And then that's just all the stuff I got going on from previous bikes or extra parts, you know? Powder coated parts, parts still going on the bike. So everything working out. About to finish getting this thing going. This thing is nice, man. Looking good. Have to move these tires out of the way. Them things might get sold sometime soon, but we coming though, man. Got this thing coming. We got baby coming. Got a nice size space now. Got some room, but like I said, man, we getting somewhere. Every day, little by little, 
putting in more and more progress, trying to get to the next level, to the next step, to keep it going. So now I've cleaned up and made space. I'm about to um, go meet up with one of my boys. He's trying to take his paint off of his bike and go take it to the paint shop while he can for his uh, birthday and stuff. So it's kind of about to make some space because my boy, he always helped me out, always been there for me. He looked out plenty of times for me, so many times, you don't even understand. Like, I've been broken down all types, so my boy came in the middle of the night helping me. So I'm about to uh, help him go get this bike. We're about to come bring it, load it here, get his bike in out of here this week. He's literally just doing the paint. He's not even taking the motor off, none of that's wheels. Literally only just doing the paint really fast. So. I'm gonna help him do that, and in the meantime, we're gonna get these other bikes going. Finished putting some parts on to take some more off. Got the crash bar on there. I'm leaving that in the plastic. I don't want them to get scratched up. That's through the primary on there. It's a little dusty, but everything's been sitting, so we gotta go over everything more and more. But we're about to take a couple of parts, like this exhaust pipe off, these brackets, and take the back fender off to get this off, so we can get everything going. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're about to just get it in today, like we've been doing, man, trying to catch up and. Get this money. So we uh we finally got the bike loaded. We on the way back to the shop. Got that thing up on that joint. I'm about to see it. But yeah, we about to get this day going, man. Bikes out. We got this motherfucker coming. Bust them down. The motors on what thing? Man, for real. <laughs> Trying to make it a hundred percent. Get everything a one. Got that thing bust down. Coming together. We out. Feeling way better. Nice clean. This thing coming, coming together. That thing bust down. Woo, man, we got some shit done today. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That was my boy, Bike. He wanted to uh, just bring it in and get the paint. You know me, I didn't convince him to take all type of shit apart. <laughs> but now on the real, we about to get it right, man. I'm telling y'all, it's about to be nice. Just like the rest of these bikes. I'm trying to produce all good products, if you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, man. Had a long day, got some work done. I can't wait to come back. Feel good, got the black hands. Hands is filthy, but we even got the job done. I also like how that truck is, man, with the uh, electrical uh, little tow hitch. That shit is super nice. I'm trying to give me something like that, but I don't know how to work with my truck being so lifted high in the air, you know? But yeah, man, we had a hella productive day. I feel super good. I'm happy I was able to do something. I've been. I feel like I've been sitting around, even though I've been getting stuff done, like, but I feel like when I'm just down in the shop, I don't got the chance to really do what I want to do, you feel me? But it don't even matter because we making progress every day working. So we're about to keep this shit going like we've been doing, man. That motherfucker is hard, nigga. That nigga shit killing.